Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm here for a top 10 video, and it's going to be for top 10 Ozzy Osbourne songs, only his solo material outside of Black Sabbath, no Black Sabbath songs are even going to be in this list, only his stuff outside of Black Sabbath, only from his studio material, I just wanted y'all to keep that in mind before I began with the list itself so with that being said let's go ahead and get started with this list all right so number 10 so we're kicking off the list with the song called i don't want to stop which is from the album black rain now this song is a song that i would kind of consider as a guilty pleasure for me because ozzy osbourne has way better songs than i don't want to stop but it still is a good song, and it may be my favorite on the Black Rain album, but I'm not sure because I'll just have to go and listen to that album in full for me to decide which song on that album is a favorite. But, yeah, I don't want to stop though, regardless. It's still a good song from Ozzy Osbourne, and like I said, maybe just a guilty pleasure because this legend in heavy metal has way better songs than I don't want to stop, but... Still though, I don't want to stop from the Black Rain album. Still a good song. So number 10 is I Don't Want to Stop from the album Black Rain. Number 9 is Perry Mason. This is from the album Osmosis. More of a industrial rock or industrial metal sound song. For Ozzy Osbourne it sounds more industrial. Instead of like his classic metal sound you know but this is still a good song regardless though so yeah this is a good song i think it's kind of underrated if you guys know what i mean because it's not like one of his most popular songs or anything i mean i know it was a single from that album but it's not like a huge huge hit for him like his early 90s stuff or his 80s stuff if you guys know what i mean but Perry Mason, though, regardless of how it sounds, of change of genre, within the metal community or whatever, this is still a good song. So yeah, number nine, Perry Mason from the album Osmosis. Great song. Number eight is Diary of a Madman from the album of the same name. So this is a title track from that album. Great title track. Probably my favorite song on that album, and it's basically the only song I really, really am familiar with from that album, so that's going to explain why it's the only song from that album in this top 10 list, but still great album overall, I just don't really remember much about it, but the title track is my favorite song on the album so far, but I will go back and listen to that album sometime so I can get to know it better, but yeah though, the title track Really great song, some really amazing guitar work in that, of course, but, yep, not one of his best title tracks, but it's still classic, though, in his discography. So, yeah, Diary of a Madman had to make the list. So, number eight, Diary of a Madman, from the album Diary of a Madman. Great song still. Check it out if you're a fan of Ozzy Osbourne. Great song. All right, number seven is another title track and it's from the album Bark at the Moon from the album Bark at the Moon this is one of my favorite Ozzy Osbourne songs of all time and it's also a great theme song for Halloween if you're a fan of the holiday Halloween of course me I'm not a fan of Halloween anymore and haven't been in years but if you're a fan of Halloween still then that's awesome but don't another good thing about this song though outside of Halloween is that it's a classic, and it's one of Ozzy Osbourne's best songs that he ever created. I know it's kind of low in the list, but I still think he has better songs. But this is still a top 10 contender of a song for Ozzy Osbourne. It's a classic, and it's a song everyone should know from Ozzy. So, yeah, number 6, I mean number 7, my bad. Number 7, Bark at the Moon from Bark at the Moon. Okay, now we're at number six. So number six is Mr. Crawley from the album 
Blizzard of Oz. Now, I don't like this song as much as Crazy Train, but it still is a good song. It's not my favorite on the album by any means, but it still is a song that I would consider as a classic for Ozzy, despite me not liking it as much as Crazy Train. So yeah, despite that though, this is still a great song. So yeah, number six, Mr. Crowley from Blizzard of Oz. Okay, number five. Number five is Mama, I'm Coming Home from the album No More Tears. And yeah, this is a very beautiful song. I think it's more of like a ballad because of how Ozzy is singing in the song. But yeah, man, this is maybe my favorite song from the No More Tears album. But there's a lot of great songs on that album. But it is one of my favorites on the album, though, for sure. I can't deny that, you know, because this is a early 90s classic from Ozzy. One of his best 90s songs, in my honest opinion. I mean, his 90s stuff was good, don't get me wrong, but this particular song is one of his best 90s stuff, and everyone should know this song, even if they're not a fan of metal or Ozzy in general, they still should know Mama, I'm Coming Home, because it's one of his most popular songs, at least from the 90s era. So yeah, really great song, so if you never heard it, check it out. So number five, Mama, I'm Coming Home from the album No More Tears. Amazing song. Number four is Shot in the Dark from the album Ultimate Sin. And yeah, man, out of any of the 80s stuff, I think this song should get more appreciation than what it gets because it's a good song. And it's just a song that anyone who is a fan of Ozzy Osbourne should give more love and appreciation and support to. Because that's how great the song is. Now, I'm not saying it's the best song Ozzy did or anything. But it still definitely deserves way more fucking recognition than what it gets. And the same with the album Ultimate Sin. Which is the album Shot in the Dark is included on. But yeah, Shot in the Dark from the album Ultimate Sin is fucking amazing. So, yeah, it had to be on here for sure. I love that song. Words can't express it. So yeah, number four, Shot in the Dark from the Ultimate Sin. Check it out. Alright, we're finally in the top three, guys. This is going to get exciting. So let's go ahead and start with number three. Number three. Now, the song I have in at number three, a lot of people... Would have at number one in their list because it's Ozzy Osbourne's most popular song outside of his Black Sabbath stuff. And of course number three is Crazy Train from Blizzard of Oz. This is Ozzy Osbourne's most well known song outside of Black Sabbath. Those riffs on the song by Randy Rhodes are some of the most iconic metal riffs in history of heavy metal music. Randy Rhodes was a legend. He had a really lot of potential. And he just passed away way too soon. So rest in peace to Randy Rhodes. Definitely a legend. His legacy will live forever. So yeah. Crazy Train. Fantastic. One of Ozzy Osbourne's most popular songs. And for good reason though. I know it's kind of overplayed and overrated. But. Regardless, you cannot deny how talented Randy Rhodes was on the song and on that album. So, Crazy Train, amazing. Love this song. So yeah, number three, Crazy Train from Blizzard of Oz. If you're a fan of heavy metal and you don't know the song and you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you because this is a must-have for any metal fan. So yeah, Crazy Train from Blizzard of Oz had to be on here. Okay, number two is Dreamer from Down to Earth. And I know some people will be like, why is Dreamer above Crazy Train? Well, I come back to the song a little bit more than Crazy Train. But Crazy Train, of course, is still a classic. And one of his best songs. But yeah, I just really love Dreamer from the Down to Earth album. 
It's so fucking amazing. It's a piano ballad, but it's fucking amazing. I just really love the chorus. Because say you like having a bad day or something. Like if you're having a bad day. And you're just not feeling like you're having a good day or something. You can just put this song on and it'll make you feel a bit better. Because of how Ozzy Osbourne says something about better days within the chorus. You can just relate to it if you're like having a bad day or something like that. You know. But yeah man. Regardless of this being a ballad. This song is fucking fantastic. And I wish that album Down to Earth would get way more appreciation. Because a lot of people say it's one of his weakest albums. Which I totally disagree with. Great album. But yeah. Dreamer from that specific album is fucking amazing. Any fan of Ozzy should check out the song. So yeah. Dreamer from Down to Earth had to be on here. I love this song. It's amazing. One of his best songs in my opinion. People don't have to agree with me on that, but I think it's one of his best songs. So yeah, Dreamer from Down to Earth had to be on this list. Fantastic. One of his best ballads of all time. Okay, and number one. Number one is The Ultimate Sin from the album The Ultimate Sin. And yes, this is my number one Ozzy Osbourne song in this list. So, yeah man, this is... Ozzy Osbourne's best title track, if you ask me. I fucking love this song. It's so catchy. Those riffs are fantastic. They may not be as iconic as Crazy Train with when it comes to the riffs. But this is still a fucking amazing song. I don't care what anyone says. The Ultimate Sin is a fantastic song from the legend himself, Ozzy Osbourne. I love this song. Like I said, those riffs... Are amazing. It's a catchy song. You'll just have yourself having a damn great time every time the song comes on. So yeah, if you're a fan of Ozzy Osbourne's 80s stuff, then definitely check out the song. Because this is another song of Ozzy's that I feel like that doesn't get enough love and respect like it truly deserves, you know. But regardless though, that doesn't mean it's a bad song just because a certain amount of people doesn't. Like it, that doesn't make it a bad song, because it's far from a bad song. It's fucking amazing. So yeah, guys, I really don't know what else to say about The Ultimate Sin, but it is my number one song, though, for this list. Because it is one of my favorite Ozzy Osbourne songs of all time. So yeah, before I go, though, I just want to recap this list for y'all. So yeah, number 10 is I Don't Want to Stop from the album Black Rain. Number 9 is Perry Mason from the album Osmosis. Number 8 is Diary of a Madman from the album Diary of a Madman. Number 7 is Bark at the Moon from the album Bark at the Moon. Number 6 is Mr. Crowley from the album Blizzard of Oz. Number 5 is Mama, I'm Coming Home from the album No More Tears. Number number 4 is Shot in the Dark from the album Ultimate Sin. Number 3 is Crazy Train from the album Blizzard of Oz. Number two is Dreamer from the album Down to Earth. And number one is the Ultimate Sin from the album the Ultimate Sin. So with that being said, guys, that's going to complete this list and this video. So yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. And let me know some of your favorite songs from Ozzy Osbourne and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Y'all have a great one, and I'm out. See y'all next time. Peace.